Every day, billions of people interact with the internet as part of their daily lives. And over the past 40 years, technology has advanced, allowing us to manage our finances online, communicate with friends and family on Facebook, play games, and we store pictures, our photos, we tell stories, we share our experiences. There's no corner left of the human condition which doesn't in some way travel over the internet. Yet for most of the services we use today, our data, your digital self and your whole online persona is protected with just a username and a password. Two really simple pieces of information that if somebody else steals it, they can own your total online identity, sometimes destroying people's reputations, emptying bank accounts. I do use the same password for most, if not all, the same accounts. It's just like two variations of the same password. I gather my passwords around themes. So I, I have been hacked. Uh, I was just browsing on my social media and uh, I got a notification saying that someone tried to access my account from Ukraine. You could make the most complex, longest password in the world. If somebody hacks a website and just files saves as to disk, doesn't matter. So how do you protect? What you do is, instead of just relying on a username and password, you add something else to it. What we call the second factor of authentication. So it's another way for you to provide information as part of the authentication process, which is really you and not somebody that's just stolen your password. So how does 2FA work? Well, you access the site, Type in your username, your phone beeps, it's got a message on it saying, are you logging in? So if it's really you, you log in. If it's not really you, you're stopping the attacker. To enable 2FA, just look at your profile, go to security settings and switch on 2FA. Everybody should 2FA. It's better, safer and smarter.